I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. The candidates on stage took aim at President Biden over inflation, the national debt, and other economic issues. We have complete live team coverage tonight with CBS News Miami's Larry Seward, Jim DeFeedy, and Jim Barry. We begin with Larry with more on the debate's biggest highlights. Lauren, we saw plenty of heated exchanges over six-week abortion bans dealing with China and taming inflation. But talk of former President Donald Trump stirred up candidates and the crowd invited to the debate that aired on Fox News. Eight Republicans took podiums, including Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis, but the hottest debate centered on the man not in the room, former President Donald Trump. Moderators asked the eight candidates running against him to raise their hands if they would support Trump as nominee if he's convicted. Is this what we're going to be focusing on I'm relieved. going we forward? Hold. The yeah. rehashing of this? I'll yes. tell you, Governor the DeSantis, Democrats would love that, we and they will win well, if we Governor let DeSantis, him get away with it. I'm not going to support somebody who's been convicted of a serious felony or who has this is disqualified under our Constitution, and that's consistent with RNC rules, and I hope everybody would right. agree with me. Right. We should be asking ourselves a bigger question about the weaponization of the Department of Justice. When I'm president, the first thing I'll do is fire Merrick Garland. Second thing I'll do, fire Christopher Ray, because we need Lady Justice to wear a blindfold. Someone's got to stop normalizing this conduct. Okay? Now, and now whether or not, whether or not you believe that the criminal charges are right or wrong, the conduct is beneath the office of President of the United States. President Trump, I believe, was the best president of the 21st century. It's a fact. And Chris Christie, Honest to God, your claim that Donald Trump is motivated by vengeance and grievance would be a lot more credible if your entire campaign were not based on vengeance and grievance against one man. Several times, former Vice President Mike Pence and biotech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy had heated exchanges over ways to manage inflation and abortion. When talk turned to crime, candidates debated improving public safety across the country. DeSantis defended his record in the Sunshine State. The crime's at a 50-year low not in Florida. In, we're, in we're, we're happy with that. Well, the statewide, it's a 50-year low. The inmates start running the asylum. There's one guy in this entire country that's ever done anything about that, me. DeSantis told the crowd that he fired two prosecutors in Florida who did not meet his expectations. That entire debate lasted two hours. The next round is in California next month. Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.